How's it going everybody? It is your old pal Baba Ganoush here. Welcome back. I hope you're all having a good one here today. So for those of you who have been following my channel for a while, know that I completed my Appalachian Trail through hike with my backpack of choice, the Osprey Exos 48 liter. And since getting off trail and obviously with full intentions of through hiking the Pacific Crest Trail as well, I have been in search of a new backpack that's going to provide me with more versatility in the overall capacity as well as something that's going to uh, trim the overall weight that I'm carrying as well. Now certainly there are lots of great options out there, certainly I had my choice of quite a few, but at the end of it all I think I chose the best one for me in particular. And now after owning this backpack for a full year and really testing it out in all kinds of weather from extreme cold in the middle of winter to extreme hot in the middle of summer, I feel very confident in giving you this final review. So ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Granite Gear Crown 2. Let's go ahead and get into it. So, okay everybody, again before I go ahead and get started, be sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already, and at the end of the video, be sure to give me a thumbs up if you did certainly enjoy it. I always do appreciate it. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. The Granite Gear Crown 2. I'm very excited to talk about this backpack here today. Alright, so before I get started talking about, you know, what I really like about it and really why I chose this backpack in particular, let me go over some of the features, give you guys a good rundown of the backpack in general, uh, and hopefully it's something that you would be interested in yourself. So, now with this one in particular, this is considered an internal frame backpack, but it does not have a traditional lightweight wire frame. It is actually using a plastic frame sheet uh, behind the padding here to give it that, that rigidity and that stability. Uh, with that plastic frame sheet, it does give this backpack a healthy 35 pound weight rating. So especially carrying a bear canister, um, or even just planning those winter trips where you're going to be carrying some extra gear, it's nice where it has that healthy weight capacity. Now certainly for you gram counters out there, that plastic frame sheet is removable. You are able to save yourself a couple ounces of weight. The shoulder pads and hip belt are using a really nice high density lightweight foam. Uh, so especially with that high density, it's not going to collapse over time. So looking for a really good long distance or long term backpack, you know, certainly the materials being used are going to uphold to that. Talking about the hip belt there, you do have two nice size hip belt pockets able to keep your snacks, uh, able to keep your phone in there as well, you know, some of your different odds and ends, just especially for those long distance hikers just to have that nice quick grab access. The hip belt is uh, fully adjustable as well as that hip belt is completely, is completely removable. So if you really are going nice and lightweight, you don't find any reason to keep the hip belt and you just want to free those hips, go ahead, take that hip belt off. Uh, and you can really, really get the versatility out of the backpack that you want. Up on top here, they do have a really, really nice top lid to the backpack. Uh, great zipper access, lots of great capacity inside there and everything. Now this top lid is removable. You have two little clips on either side of the shoulder straps and of course in the front of the backpack here as well. Uh, so if you really want to try to trim some of the weight or you just don't find any need for the top lid in general, it's great where that is removable and you are able to kind of customize the backpack to your liking. On the side of the backpacks here, it does give you a couple small things. It does give you a nice healthy elastic water bottle pocket. Uh, very easy to put your one liter Nalgene in there. Uh, now I have actually made an alteration to this backpack, uh, specifically this pocket. Um, basically this pocket used to run clean across just like that and it was very difficult for me to kind of reach back and grab that water bottle so I have alter it, altered it to bring it on more of an angle uh, to make it more accessible for myself. Uh, I will do an independent video on that alteration for those of you who do have this Granite Gear model which, which has the old uh, mesh, mesh elastic pockets on the side. This is a great, great little alteration to basically uh, make those pockets more accessible. Now continuing on, uh, certainly it does give you just two small little nice compression traps, top and bottom. You do have a buckle just to quickly release everything, fully adjustable and everything as well. 
So really be able to tighten that load up against you. Flipping onto the cover here, a really, really huge, huge mesh pocket on the outside here. I love this big mesh pocket. Great for my rain gear, my water filter, quick dry towels, anything that I need to keep on the outside of my backpack accessible for those uh, just in case moments. It's great where it has all, all that nice capacity there. Compression straps across the front and just do two standard ice axe or trekking pole loops down on the bottom here for you. Now, as I said before, you can remove this top lid. If we do remove this top lid, there we go. Up on top, it does have a uh, top compression strap here to really kind of cinch everything down. Um, and of course, what I love about this backpack in particular, that expandable nature, that capacity, that versatility in the capacity, this is a roll top backpack. So at standard 60 liter capacity, you do have the option to expand or contract that depending on your situation. So it's just a nice simple roll top and it, it can expand up to be pretty nice and tall. Plenty of room for a bear canister in there as well. Uh, plenty of room if you're doing some winter backpacking, something that uh, I personally have thoroughly enjoyed thus far. So as I said before, this is a 60 liter capacity backpack. Now using really, really nice lightweight ripstop nylon for the primary construction, they do have a little bit more of a denser, uh, thicker ripstop nylon for the base just for the added durability. And yet for the entire package set that you see here, it comes in at only two pounds, five ounces. Uh, this is the regular model, but as I said before, you are able to remove that top lid as well as the plastic frame sheet to get this backpack down to just about two pounds even. Now, what does this all cost you? This retails at REI for $199. So especially for less than $200 for something that is really nice and lightweight, but still very supportive in the weight and also that uh, the versatility and the expandable nature of it for less than $200, a really, really great ultralight option. Now certainly, why did I choose this backpack? As I said, there's lots and lots of options out there, um, but I chose this one in particular. You know, I'm, I plan on through hiking the Pacific Crest Trail in 2020 though. Uh, you know, I wanted to get a backpack that is going to provide that versatility in, in the overall capacity. Uh, just having that exper expandable nature, how it can contract and everything as well. Uh, just something that I was really looking for so that I can do my winter trips, I can do my summer trips, and I don't have to change backpacks up all the time. Now, I actually do remove that top lid. I don't really find any need for it, so I am able to, to actually take a couple ounces off the backpack itself. However, I still like to keep that nice plastic frame sheet in there just to give it that added support, um, especially if I am carrying, you know, 30 pounds on a good uh, long-term winter trip. It's nice where I just have that little added support to carry that added weight. Now, something that is really, really important to me is a company that stands by their products. Um, I'm not going to say who, but... I had a bad experience on my AT through hike with one of those cottage companies who's really uh, popular with making a lot of those Dyneema ultralight, ultralight products. You know, something happened on trail, I just had a bad experience with them where they just didn't want to take care of something so small um, and that just kind of put a bad taste in my mouth. And when it comes to a company like Granite Gear or Osprey is another one as well. These are companies that really, really stand by their products. So for someone like myself who backpacks a lot, who's also a long distance backpacker with the intention of through hiking, I wanted to go with a company knowing that if something happens to this backpack on trail, something fails, something breaks, that they're going to stand by their product. That they're going to look at that and just say like, hey, you know what, we're gonna take care of you there. From a backpacker as well, being with the company that's going to be there with you and protect you, um, and really just a company that stands by its products and stands by its company, uh, stands by its customers, uh, just something that really puts your mind at ease on a long distance hike, and again, is something that's very, very important to me. Now, as I said, I've owned this backpack for a year now. They do have a brand new model out with, uh, they actually did make some slight alterations to it, but the overall construction and performance of the backpack will remain the same. And thus far, after a year of owning it, I have been so, so thrilled. It has been very, very comfortable, and that's carrying upwards of 30 pounds on my winter trips and carrying even down about 20, only about 20 pounds uh, on my summer trips. And yet it has performed so beautifully. 
every which way. I will have the link to this backpack down in the description below if you would like to take a look at it and do some of your own research. Uh, definitely I recommend once things start to get back to normal here that you get yourself into a store. Hey, try the backpack on, see what it's like. All I know is it's done great well for me. A backpack that I have been very, very happy with thus far and of course a brand and a company that I know I'm going to be happy with moving forward. So thank you all so much for following along. I hope this helped you all in some way if you're looking at a new backpack yourself. Something that's comfortable, lightweight, but doesn't burn a hole in your wallet. And as I said before, be sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. I always do appreciate it. You all make sure that you're staying safe out there. Catch you on the next video. Baba Ganoush, out.